And thus was born the magnetic resonance imager, the MRI, arguably the most potent tool in the arsenal of modern medicine, where I can diagnose a condition in your body without cutting you open first. In the video, Neil mentioned how important the invention of the MRI was, but there's a lot more to this story than I'm sure you've ever heard. This is the tragic story of the snubbing by the Nobel Prize Committee of the inventor of the MRI, Dr. Raymond Damadian. Born in 1936, officially was awarded a patent for his MRI in 1974. But just getting a patent for it wasn't enough for Damadian. He was concerned that he wouldn't get credit, so he actually made the first MRI machine and took the first human scan in 1977. This technology, which allows doctors to see inside of a human and has saved millions of lives, was surprisingly going unnoticed by the Nobel Committee. And you may not think the Nobel Prize is a big deal, but it is the most prestigious award in science. It's a legacy type award, validating your work and your place in science. And he wanted to win it. Almost 30 years later in 2003, the Nobel Committee finally awards a Nobel Prize for the MRI. The award is issued to Paul Latterber and Peter Mansfield, who, using Demadian's research, only expanded upon Demadian's invention. According to Alfred Nobel, his award would only be bequeathed to the scientist who made the original discovery, which was clearly, historically, and factually Dr. Demadian. If there was any question about the Nobel Committee's intention, the Nobel Prize can actually be awarded for up to three individuals. They only chose the two scientists and totally snubbed the actual creator. This devastated Demadian. He even paid for an ad in the New York Times, bringing light to this injustice. All he wanted was to be recognized for his life-saving invention. In the article it reads, The essence of science is allegiance to the truth. The last institution that should disregard the truth is the one that considers itself the arbiter of scientific achievement. You can see why Dr. Demadian wanted credit from the Nobel Committee. It would have legitimized him and his invention in the eyes of the scientific community. What did Dr. Demadian do to deserve this? Hi, my name is Dr. Raymond Demadian. I am a young Earth creation scientist and believe that God created the world in six 24-hour days, just as recorded in the book of Genesis. The idea that scientists who believe the Earth is 6,000 years old cannot do real science is simply wrong. Yep, he believes God created this reality, which immediately disqualifies him from any scientific accolades. Can you imagine the scientific complex not giving him the award that he was due, that he deserved, because of what he believes in? And not only not giving him an award, leaving that third spot open, this was a message by the secular scientific enterprise. You only get recognized for your work if you believe what they believe. When the chairman of the Nobel Committee was asked about why Demadian didn't receive a Nobel Prize, the chairman had no comment, but added that there was nothing preventing Dr. Demadian from being nominated in the future. Dr. Raymond Demadian died in August of 2022, never having been acknowledged for his contribution to science.